Unification was really the only solution. We didn't want to fight an enemy that we knew we could never defeat. So could you just explain to me a little more the process of integration? By installing their leaders into our systems of government, commerce and law enforcement, we ensured a smooth transition. Well, let's call it what it is. It's an occupation. It's not an integration. Unification has given us a better quality of living and a life after their arrival, which has returned to normal. Why are you so interested in the Alien Alliance? I just want people to know the truth before it's too late. Ah, well, the truth is that the integration has been very successful. How do you explain the suicides? You're not here to do a story on education, are you? Do you really believe those men and women killed themselves? OK, that's enough. Do you? Okay. Please answer the question. Do you believe those minutes? Get the camera. Still Let's just do one more. Yeah, one, one without the coffee. One without the coffee? Yeah. Well, it looks cool to do it at the <laughs> no, end. That doesn't. It's not that casual. Okay. Two days ago, General Jacob Reisner was found dead. 13 members of parliament have allegedly committed suicide since the invasion. So far, every government and family representative has refused to talk. So last night, I got an email from Jacob Reisner's wife, Mimi Reisner. This could be the one, it's a huge break. The unified program is nothing more than a forced occupation. General Reisner was one of the men in charge. Now, if his wife has something to say about his death, I want to know. What are you thinking? Can you imagine how many views we're going to get? Thanks for taking the time. OK, are we good? Yep. Do you believe your husband's death was a suicide? No. I also wasn't surprised. He thought someone was after him. I overheard him on the phone, scared, talking about what he knew. What he knew? What, what do you mean? He, he never said. I asked him, but he was like that. He, he didn't want to burden me with his stress. Did he tell anyone else about this? Or? I think he spoke with David Netter. The chief of police? Yeah. Uh, David came over last Sunday, and they, they sat in the backyard for an hour, maybe two, and the next day, David was fired. And his wife told anybody that would listen that it was my husband's fault. So do you think that perhaps the... Who the fuck is this? 
Fuck, Mum, do you know how dumb this is? But darling, don't talk like that. Is she off here now? Dylan. Sorry, she's not normally like this. I just have one more minute Dylan, of your time. come and talk so to me. i ask you one... Hi, I'm Dalton Evans. I wanted to oh, speak to David Netta. I know who you are, Look, and he doesn't want to talk to you, okay? He doesn't Mrs. want to talk Netta, to you. Mrs Netta, no, no. if I could just have five minutes of his no, time. No, don't you understand? It's, he does not want to talk to you. I okay? really, no, I really... Mrs Netta, please. Mrs Netta! Mrs Netta! Mrs Netta! She's scared. We just need more, we need more proof. Yeah, I know. Look, let's just get this bit, okay? <clears throat> All right, when you're ready. Okay. Oh, shit, sorry. Just hang on a sec. This is Dalton. Who is this? How'd you get this number? Stay away from the Risons and drop this story. What happened to Jacob Reisner? We're watching you, Dalton. We're getting close. I got some contacts at the phone company and they said that the call came from a government switchboard. I tried contacting other family members, but the former chief of police has filed a restraining order against me. By like five minutes. Dalton Evans, get up. Get rolling. You have violated curfew. I've done anything wrong. I've done nothing wrong. I'll start. Get your hands off me. Uh, I've been hit a number of times here, there, there, and uh, this is one of my favourites. Make the logo of the boot out. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, fuck. Wait, stop! I stole my fucking laptop. Dalton, get up. We've got a lead. Dalton, wake up. Yeah, okay. Email. Hmm? From a, a friend of Jacob Reisner. Wants to meet tonight. What do you think? This feels like a trap. Maybe. But maybe not. As key members of parliament, Jacob Reisner and I were part of the secret envoy that met with them after the initial bombardment. Nineteen of us attended. I'm one of six who's still alive. What do you mean, secret envoy? After the shelling stopped, 
They made contact. They offered us one chance at a peaceful surrender. We agreed to meet them. So why wasn't the press informed of this? If the truth got out, the people would revolt. This government would collapse. Is this connected to the death of Jacob Reisner? Yes. He said he was going to go public. Why? What you see out there, checkpoints, the violence against humans, wasn't part of the deal. So what was the deal? We followed? No, of course not. We need to go. Go, 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 go. Oh, fuck, it won't fuck it. <laughs> 